Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound KMnO4. Now here's a little trick guys. If you notice that your ionic compound has three or more different elements, you know that you have at least one polyatomic ion somewhere in your compound. In this case, we do have three different elements. We have K, which is potassium. We have Mn, which is manganese. And we have O, which is oxygen. So it's always easiest to find the polyatomic first and then come back and do the naming. Remember that polyatomic ions are never going to be on the periodic table. These have to be memorized. So I wrote down the one that we're going to be using, write this one down or use index cards or flashcards, you know, to memorize these, but it will help you tremendously in your chemistry course. MnO4, every time that you see this ion, always has a negative one charge. So memorize that, but the name is permanganate. All right. So it's the permanganate ion and the MnO4 is right here. So we got that part covered. So the potassium is the metal component, right? And I know that potassium is a metal because it's right here on the periodic table. It is in metal you know, territory. Only hydrogen is the only non-metal in group one. All the other ones are metals. Now we're ready to name. The metal name, right? The metal name always comes first and it always stays the same. So K being potassium is just gonna stay potassium. Now, since we're dealing with a polyatomic ion, that name always stays the same. So since it was permanganate by itself, it's gonna be permanganate in the compound. So permanganate. And then just, you know, double check, since potassium is not a transition metal, just a regular metal, we do not need a Roman numeral. So this is the full answer. So K, MnO4, is potassium permanganate. That's it. Hope this helped, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, which will help us out. And, you know, have a great day. Keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you guys. And good luck on your next test or quizzes. All right? See you later. Bye-bye.